what is the best mic for YouTube this year? In this video, we'll be comparing the Deity V Mic D3 Pro versus the Rode VideoMic NTG so you can decide which one's best for you. Let's get it. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Zakori with Think Media, helping you build your influence with online video. And on this channel, we do YouTube strategy as well as tech gear reviews just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So just a quick disclaimer, the way this video is gonna work is throughout it, I will be changing locations and scenarios based off of the proper use of a mic like one of these. So this is a shotgun mic. We're just gonna pop it on top of our camera, but use it in various situations that you would use yourself so you can make a sound judgment based off of what mic is best for you by the end of this video. And just so you know, whatever mic we'll be using, we'll make sure we note it in the right-hand corner of the screen right here. So both of these shotgun mics are very similar and have a lot of the same features, which we'll go over in just a second. But I wanted to share real quick why you even want to potentially invest in a shotgun mic. I think the first thing to note is that your camera's onboard mic usually isn't the best mic to be used. It'll produce a very echoey sound no matter where you are or even just take in way too much sound. And what's so cool about these mics, they capture what's in front of it. So if you're just pointing the mic toward a certain subject, it's gonna capture the audio rather than just capturing everything all at once. So our audio settings throughout this video will not change from scene to scene. Simply what we're doing, and maybe this will serve as a tip to you, is we'll be changing the camera from auto to manual, bringing down the audio record level to just one, and then from that low setting, using the gain knob from each mic to dial in the audio. In this case, in order to get the proper audio levels, we have our gain knob set to about five to seven. So both the Deity and the Rode are very similar mics because they have a lot of the same features, which I'll get into in just a second. But just to make note, uh, anytime you're doing anything audio, it's best to have your source as close to the subject as much as possible. And so we would recommend being at max arm's length distance from your camera. That's why vlog setups and wide angle lenses are great because you can be as a little bit closer to a camera, which makes you closer to the mic itself. You know, we actually did a recent video when the camera was far away, but then I kind of boomed the mic in the shot, kind of like this, as you can see here. And so you just wanna make sure no matter what mic you're using, that you are putting it as close to the subject as much as possible. In this video, we didn't wanna go the distance of booming this mic. However, this mic can totally be boomed right outside of a shot and pick up incredible audio if you're zoomed in from afar to your subject. We just wanted to make the best use case scenarios for general YouTube videos. So it's like talking head videos like this, vlogging, and just general filming. Now, if your videos consist of you needing to move around a lot, like maybe you're showing off houses or you're doing tours of sorts or you need to move around, you don't want a shotgun mic, especially if you don't have somebody behind the camera moving with you, keeping the mic at a consistent distance throughout a video. Uh, you might wanna look into investing in a wireless lav kit, just a good set it and forget it thing where you can move around and the audio won't change. And so we love the Rode Go Plus. We did a video on it and we'll make sure we link that in the YouTube card and in the description below. All right, so let's jump into some of the similarities between these mics. The first being is that they are both super cardioid mics. That means the sound pattern for each of these mics are the same. You're gonna get simple point to the subject you are filming and it's not gonna capture audio behind the camera and it won't capture too much audio on the sides of the camera or the mic. Both mics have built-in rechargeable lithium ion batteries uh, and they also are charged by USB-C. This is really cool because the future is USB-C and so these are both future-proof mics as far as charging goes. Now we haven't put the battery life to its full test, however Rode does say that the NTG gets 30 plus hours of use with a full charge and the Deity comes in at 51 hours of full use and so that's something to think about when you're considering investing in one of these lenses. The next thing they both have are stepless gain knobs. Now this is great if you're behind the camera, you can change the audio gain on the fly and no one will notice that you're doing so if you're doing it subtly because it's a super smooth stepless gain. Now other mics don't have stepless gain knobs, meaning they just have switches or notches, which is very noticeable when you're making those micro adjustments during a real time shoot. And so having those stepless gain knobs are super, super tight. Another cool thing is that they both have auto sensing, which means that you can plug in the mic into a phone and or camera and you don't have to change the cable. Many times you'd have to use adapters or change the cable from TRS to TRRS. So it's really cool that you don't have to worry about that with these mics, especially if you wanna create content using your phone. 
These both come with really great shock mounts, meaning if you're moving your camera around, it's not gonna catch all the shake and jitter, uh, which is very nice. But they both come off their shock mounts to be used for booming, or if you wanna use a tabletop you know, mic stand, you can do that as well. But just having that option is nice because shotgun mics in the past weren't made like this, but it's really cool that they're making it in a way that it could be used in several different ways. Now let's just talk about the differences of each of these mics. Now the Rode NTG comes in at $249 at the time of shooting this video here in the US and the Deity comes in at $199. Now although the Deity comes in at a lower price point than the Rode, it's something to mention that you do get a nice little case with your purchase. Uh, just something to keep in mind if you like packing up your mic. I mean it's actually a smart thing because it's a hard case which helps for traveling. If you put your camera in a bag you don't want to just keep your mic out on the whim, you might break the shock mount. All right, now another thing is the Rode has a negative 20 pad for super loud noises. So if you're like by the beach, it's super cool to have that function. Um, also, it has a high frequency boost for like detailed sounds. Like if you're in nature and you want to enhance the sounds of what you're getting from a jungle or the woods or something, uh, it's a cool feature all of which the Deity does not have. And so shout out to the Rode for having these features. Another cool feature that the Rode has that the Deity does not is this peak signal. So it'll notify you anytime you're peaking by this flashing red light, which is super helpful to prevent you from ruining your audio. Now, ergonomically, there is a difference for the Rode versus the Deity. What's so cool about the Rode is they really thought through a, a nice little slight detail, and that is the cable management. So not only is the cable very high quality and also uh, sturdy, I guess it's very form-fitting, They've included this kind of bracket system that keeps your cable very clean when connecting it to your camera. Many times we would actually wrap the cable around the mics itself and then plug it into the camera, which is fine, but it's just cool that Rode really thought this through and definitely gets a vote thumbs up in my opinion. So it was really cool for Rode to actually think about this detail and so I appreciate it as a content creator, but I would say the other and maybe last difference that I think to make note of in this video is that it is the color. And so I think it's just something to keep into consideration when choosing. You know, the road is red, has a bright red shock mount, which making it very noticeable if you're out in the public. Uh, but I don't know, I kind of like the vibe. I like how it's red. The deity itself is just black all the way through. And so it's just something to keep in mind when getting them. You're going to get red if you get the road. You're going to get all black if you get the deity. All right, if you're gonna value in this video, why don't you hit the like button for me? Thank you so much. Now, overall, I definitely think both of these mics are incredible. You know, I, if you, whichever one you choose to go with, you're not gonna lose. Uh, I only think the two features that actually really make it harder to pick between which one to buy is the battery life on the Deity, which being a cheaper mic is actually pretty cool. You're getting almost double the battery life than the Rode gives. But the flip side is the Rode has the minus 20 pad or the high frequency option to be able to have different options when in different environments. And so that's just something to keep in mind. But honestly, if I was on a budget, that 199 price point's pretty fair considering what the mic does. The stepless gain, the auto off feature, and many of the other things that we talked about in this video. So honestly, you cannot lose whichever mic you choose to go with. And let me know in the comment section below what you think of each of these mics and which one you would go with and uh, appreciate you watching this video. If you wanna check out another video from Think Media, why don't you click or tap on the screen and I will see you in the next video. Peace.